one-on-one -on -one contest here. Dirty Dan Lydon in the crop top, in case you weren't sure, taking on Richie Paradise. Oh, Dan, doing the wrong thing, taking your eyes right off your opponent. Is that what you want to do? That is the number one mistake you can make. But then, is he from apartment 36B? Uh, that's what he claims. I mean, I haven't fact checked it, but it sounds right. I think that's right down the hall from me. Oh, different apartment complex. Never mind. You guys should hang out sometime. Dan currently coming off that huge dog collar victory over Scythe there a couple months ago here at the brewery. Clotheslining uh, Paradise right out of the ring, who uh, doesn't appear to be in Paradise right now. No, not at all. He wishes he was uh, back in that beach blast with Leo Knox, probably sipping on a Mai Tai or Bahama Mama. Wow, just straight up right hands there as they brawl on the outside of the ring. Very dangerous place to be. Shoves Paradise back into the ring. Smart move. That's where you can get the clear victory. Oh, close I got nothing there. Oh, but Dan's got a little something he as he goes for cover. <laughs> now Paradise in the corner there. Bit of a flying butthole there. <laughs> Paradise not able to mount much of a, a comeback in this match. It's pretty much been all of Dan Lydon. Wait, do you so see far. what I see though, Greg? Oh, yes, I do now. That exposed turnbuckle. Paradise very quickly there. Lower that turnbuckle where Dan splashed with his back and hit nothing but steel there. If you take a look at that there, no, no padding beneath that thing. Unbeknownst to the referee. And that can do some major damage. And then exposed flesh, too. A crop top not coming in handy tonight. No. And now this thing, I mean, you were just talking, too, how much Glider was in control. And now talking about how quickly things can turn. And now using his damn wrist tape as a choking hazard. Still... Uh Referee not seeing anything. And the referee can't see it. He can't call it. We'll say one thing. Richie Paradise very smart. Always has been a very conniving guy. Definitely one of those that believes in any way to victory is a good way to victory. A W is a W is a W. Absolutely. He wants that winner's purse. He'll do anything to get it. Stomping on the back there, just. Smart strategy, though, uh, stomping on that back, that injury from hitting that oh. exposed turnbuckle. And not just a body slam, it was like a, a power slam with all his weight against it, but no. Dan Lydon showing a tremendous amount of heart by kicking out there. Very smart targeting that back. Oh, oh, he is stretching him. Oh, it just hurts me looking at it. I can't stretch that way. Now, this hurts me. Now, we're all the way over here. Referee Albert Burge says Dan says no. He's not giving up, at least not yet. I have a sense that it'll take a lot more than this to get Dan Lydon to say I quit huh. or to tap. I mean, that's sure. I mean, uh, after seeing him in that dog collar match, you know that this guy will fight to the very end. Oh, big back body drop there. All these high impact moves on that back, though. So. Paradise, he knows what he's doing. But sooner or later, I don't care how much heart you have, the body just gives. At some point, you can't get that shoulder up. You're in too much pain. Double hammer to uh, Dan Lydon from Paradise. A cover. 
No, only a two. But the looks of it, I mean, I couldn't tell if he hit him in the shoulder plexus or straight up in the jaw. Regardless, it was pretty gnarly. I can only imagine with that, with the way that back is, Dan's probably having some breathing problems at this point in the match. Into the cover. And Dan somehow managing to kick out. But all of these moves are hard hitting moves, which are just targeted to the back and they're taking every bit of breath that Dan has. Dan though somehow trying to battle through it. Paradise got caught up on the top there. Uh oh. Lighting has something dangerous in mind. This is what I like to call high rent district. Let's hope it pays off. Oh, huge superplex. How much damage did that do to Lydon, though? Absolutely. Even though he was on the other end, that might have in a way hurt him more. I mean, it's been his back that has been the target throughout this match. That was coming off the second rope. Very devastating. Oh. And another one. Oh, and Jack in the jaw of paradise. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Then I pray with DDT, he hooked it, he sicked it. Can he get paradise over? No. He didn't hook that leg. Didn't quite have that, that cover cinched in there. It was close, but Dan, he will have to dig deep and continue on. Dan climbing the top rope. I was going to say, maybe go for that headbutt, but Paradise will never quite know. Stopped him crossing right on the top rope there. Now back up to that area I like to call high rent district. And Dan trying to fight out of it. I don't know what Richie was going for, some sort of exploder maybe, but... Oh, shoved off the bigger man. Well, he exploded all right. The fans concur. Oh, and an elbow from heaven. Into the cover. Here's your winner, Dan Well, I counted Dan out a couple times there. I mean, Richie had a game plan, but in the end, Dan Leiden has prevailed once more with the odds stacked against him. Dan Leiden is currently on a roll here in Real Pro.